Let's be honest, you know how the struggle is between keeping the kids toys and your tools separate. Sometimes it's just impossible. Today we're talking about the Hart 21 inch adaptive speed 40 volt Hart lawnmower. Now as I've mentioned in earlier videos, Hart did send me this lawnmower among other pieces of lawn care equipment and I'll link to previous videos I've done on that equipment in the eye icon as well as the link in the description below. But all of my opinions are my own. They did not tell me to say anything about their equipment. They just gave me their equipment to let me review and use for you guys. Now I'm not gonna spend a ton of time talking about the specific specs of this lawnmower. I'll briefly run through them, but I'm gonna spend the majority of this time talking about what I like and what I don't like about this particular piece of equipment. Now if I miss any of the specs or if you wanna read more about that, I'll leave a link to Hart's website to where you can read more about the specs of this lawnmower. At the time this video is recorded, this lawnmower retails for $460. So here's a quick rundown of the features and what comes with this mower a 21 inch cutting width and a heavy duty steel deck single point height adjustment adjusting all four wheels in just one position allowing you to cut between one and four inches bagging or mulching capabilities a variable speed rear wheel drive lawnmower that has adaptive speed technology that matches your pace for ease of use compact slash upright storage with telescoping and folding handles lawnmower weighs a mere 78 pounds 5 amp battery and charger included. Powered by a brushless motor that provides more power, a longer run time, and longer motor life. Every Hart 40 volt battery works with every Hart 40 volt tool. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed that. That was just me having a little fun, but here is what I do and don't like about this machine. Starting with the likes. Whether you're bagging or mulching, the cut quality of this machine is pretty good. I'd put it around the same cut quality as my current Honda lawnmower. Now one of the things that I think helps this lawnmower mulch so well is how deep the deck is, which allows the grass blade to stay up in the deck longer so the blade can chop them a little bit more. Now in regards to power, this lawnmower has plenty of power to mulch or bag the clippings. And one of the cool features about the motor in this lawnmower is that it has the ability to ramp up the RPMs when you're going through thicker or taller grass. So it's basically using the power when it needs it and then decreasing the amount of power or energy you're using when you're going through, you know, normal cut grass or grass that's not as high or as thick. So one of the super cool features I like about this lawnmower is the adaptive speed technology. If I were to guess, it's similar to the Toro personal pace technology that's on all their mowers, but essentially the faster you walk, the faster the mower goes and vice versa. Now, as far as ease of use, I don't think you can get much easier than simply putting your battery in, putting your mulch plug in, and enjoying the mow. Now one of the things I really like about this lawnmower is the single point height adjustment. I really wish most and all lawnmowers had this ability. Now one thing I think Hart could do to improve their single point height adjustment is actually have all these middle settings labeled like I have here. I wrote these in myself after actually measuring the blade on each setting, but I think if Hart had those pre-labeled, that'd be super cool. One thing I wanted to point out is when it's on the one inch setting, it's not an actual true one inch cut. It's actually cutting at an inch and a quarter. And when you have it on the four inch setting, it's not actually a four, true four inch cut. It's cutting at four and a quarter inches. So another thing I think that's really cool about this lawnmower is how quiet it is compared to your traditional gas-powered lawnmower. Check this out. I'm not sure if the camera picks up the difference, but there is quite a bit of difference in noise compared to these two machines. And the last thing I like about this lawnmower is its ability to fold up and store upright to take the least amount of space up in the garage. Because as we all know, real estate in the garage is pretty important and hard to come by. Now, while there are many great things I like about this lawnmower, there are several things I do not like at all. The main thing is the battery life. I've found that I'm only able to mow about 5,000 square feet on one fully charged battery. Now again, battery life is pretty much the biggest problem most people have with any battery powered lawn care equipment is the battery life just doesn't seem long enough. I've not seen any battery powered lawnmower that somebody would recommend that lawnmower for a lawn that's greater than 5,000 square feet. Now since I have two batteries, I am able 
able to mow my entire 9,000 square foot lawn, but I again have to use the two batteries and they're both completely drained by the time I'm done. Now the other thing I really don't like about this lawnmower is how long it takes to charge a completely empty battery. I found that it takes about three to four hours to charge a completely empty battery. Now I guess one way to completely avoid this problem is to buy multiple batteries, but to buy one five amp hour battery for this lawnmower is another $157. Now as far as power, it does have plenty of power to mulch or bag the clippings, but I have noticed when a battery is getting near to the point of it being completely drained, the motor does start to lose some of its RPM and it does start to affect the overall cut quality. Another thing I'm not super crazy about are these knobs you use to adjust the height of the handlebars. They stick out a little bit further than the profile of these bars, so they can have a tendency to catch on things which can lead to them either breaking off or bending. As you can see on this one, I caught it on something and bent it a little bit. It still functions, but I thought it was something worth noting. So overall, yes, I do like the lawnmower. I think it's a, a quality piece of equipment. Would I recommend it? Sure, if, you have, if you're wanting an electric lawnmower and you have a lawn that's less than 5,000 square feet, I think this is a great option for you. Um, I don't know enough about the other electric lawnmowers to say this is better than any other one, but it seems like a, a good lawnmower for somebody that is, again, wanting electric lawn care equipment for a lawn that's less than 5,000 square feet. In the long run, I want to eventually switch over my, my daily driver, the lawnmower that I use in the lawn all the time, to a battery-powered lawnmower, but I don't see myself doing that until I find a 30-inch battery-powered lawnmower that I can mow all 9,000 square feet on one battery. So I hope you guys enjoyed this review. I want to thank Heart Tools for sending me this mower to use and review for you guys. If you guys have any questions or comments about this mower or any of the Heart Tools equipment, please leave that in the comment section below. I tried my best to cover some of the main features and some of the main things that I thought you guys would be interested in. If you liked this video and found it helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate you guys stopping by to watch today's video. As always, thanks for all the support you guys give me and I'll see you in the next video.